Welcome to another travel product review. Today we're going to review the one and a half hour romantic sunset cruise. Now one thing we want to mention is all our reviews are favorable. What I try to do is put myself in the shoes of a visitor seeing this listing on Get Your Guide and providing feedback to what they might be thinking when they see the pictures, the text, and the reviews. Now we'll put a 10 minute timer. We won't try to go past that. Let's get started with that. Now let's start the review. Now the first thing I do when I come across any listing on Get Your Guide is I just look at the title, One and a Half Hour Romantic Sunset Cruise. And it seems pretty simple. They give you the time. They give you that it's romantic. I just I want to know the expectation of the romance part, right? Now I'm going to look at the pictures to see if the picture supports the title. And before I get started looking at each picture, I will look here and say 21 images are in this collection. I think that's a little bit too many. I think the ideal number is about 13 to 15 images. Uh, anytime that somebody puts too many images, it starts getting repetitive. And that's why you really want to just try to uh, curate the best photos and leave them there. But let's get started. So the first thing is this awesome, iconic sunset shot of Chicago. That's beautiful. Uh, that's your money shot. Here is a tour guide giving people a tour. Uh, now uh, you see the boat at sunset. You see some, some people embracing there. Uh, you have another sunset shot of Chicago in a different area. Now you have a bunch of people that looks like a wedding or a group or something. Uh, now you have two people enjoying a conversation. That gives you the romantic part of this cruise. I guess uh, they did a good job representing that. Now you have a tour guide as well. There's uh, drinks on board. That's awesome. Another shot. So far, they've given you shots of the boats, but it didn't feel repetitive. So I think they're doing a great job of mixing people on the boat without getting repetitive. Uh, more sunset shots. Now I'm slowly starting to feel like this is getting repetitive. Uh, I've already seen that shot. I've seen uh, that shot before. Uh, this is before. And um, it's kind of, now I'm going quick. Now the one thing I didn't see is any drone shots of the boat in the bay. I would like to see that. And I didn't see any downstairs shots. Um, I would like to see what that downstairs looks like as well. But pretty good. Uh, I think all those pictures really tell the story. I only felt a couple repetitive shots. So I think they did a good job. Now, the one thing I want to do before we move on, I look at the activity provider to see uh, who it is, Wandala, Wendala Tours and Cruises. That means that I believe that is the, the people that operate this tour are the ones also for this listing. And then I glance over at the reviews, 490 reviews with a 4.6 rating. Uh, so far, I don't see too many things other than those pictures things. Now I want to look at uh, about this activity. It's the duration is one and a half hours, skip the line ticket and live tour guide in English. And I just glance at this picture. Now, the one thing I want to say is always when it comes to a get your guide listing, just go ahead and fill in this, um, this section and check the availability because sometimes there'll be some more packages under there. So I see a couple different price points and we're going to choose just adult, children and infant. I look at the days of the week to see if there's any blackout dates. I don't see that and there's no price difference in, in that. Now I also want to mention before I even do this, I've, I don't even see any um, anywhere where the different times are located. So you almost have to do this to see when it's being offered and the time. So now I'm going to check the availability and now I see that the starting time is 7 p.m. And so that that's perfect. It tells me my meeting point and that answers every question. So they only offer this once a day. And now I'm going to come back down here to see if 7 p.m. is represented and it's not. And so that's where I think that if they don't do this check in, if they don't do the check availability, you need to know what time this starts at. Enjoy the sun setting. Now I'm going to look at the highlights because that's the most important part of this. That means the company thinks that these are the highlights that you need to know before you make a purchase. So enjoy the sun setting behind the Chicago skyline. Saw a picture of that. Cruise to Tranquil Waters off Lake Michigan. Saw some of that. Journey through the legendary Chicago lock that links to the Chicago River with Lake Michigan. We've seen plenty of photos of that. Skip the line ticket. 
skip the ticket line and guarantee your spot on this popular tour. Uh, I always think that that's a question mark. I really like to see how that works out. I think that's great that you get to skip the line, but you, well, if there's too many people, well, if you have 20 people buying on Get Your Guide, what would happen then? Enjoy a full service cash bar with local beer and spirits and Garrett's popcorn. That's cool. Um, I, I saw pictures of the bar. I didn't see pictures of the popcorn. I'd like to see a picture of that up top. Now I'm just gonna click over this full description, kind of lengthy. I don't think anybody kind of reads that. So I'll just read the first paragraph this time. Relax as you glide over the Chicago River and into Lake Michigan on this cruise. Enjoy the glow of the sunset and Chicago's sparkling skyline. Have the option to purchase delectable drinks and snacks at the onboard bar as you sail. Start your sunset cruise on the Chicago River at Michigan Avenue. Make your way along the main branch of the river towards Lake Michigan before entering the Chicago Locks. So we saw them on the river and then they go out to the Lake Michigan. And I, don't, I think that that's all that people really read. So we're gonna kind of continue of what it means to look at this listing as, um, as a visitor. One and a half hour sunset cruise on the Chicago River in Lake Michigan, choice of outdoor deck or indoor climate controlled seating, live commentary by a local guide. What's not included, drinks and snacks available for purchase on board and tips. The closest address to give you a location and know before you go, passengers can bring their own non-alcoholic beverages and food. Children under four of age are free. And boarding commences approximately 15 minutes before the scheduled departure. Seats and the decks are chosen on first come, first serve basis. All bags are subject to chain, to search. So it really answers everything so far. Um, I think they do a good job of representing themselves. Now we're going to get to the review section. And before we get started, I want to share that I don't represent this company, nor do I represent Get Your Guide. I'm simply providing feedback on the negative reviews that are on this listing and are publicly available to everybody. So we're going to look at those reviews and I'm going to provide feedback. So let's get started with those reviews. Now, when it comes to negative reviews, I think a lot of people are trained now to kind of read the rate negative reviews. And what I'm doing by looking at the negative reviews is I'm trying to see if the company answered some of those questions that are in the reviews. I worked for a cruise company before, and after a while you see a couple of negative reviews, then you go back and change some of the information up top, so that way the expectations are better matched. So, wasn't extended the courtesy of a rebooking, too bad. I would think that if you're looking to rebook the ticket, it depends on when you're trying to rebook because up above it says cancellation is free up to 24 hours in advance. So when you say that you weren't able to get a rebooking, they've already answered that and Get Your Guide is really good at accommodating cancellations. View of the city from Lake was great. However, it was mostly, it was mostly certain did not match the description. It was like a booze cruise party boat. Speaker system was not working downstairs, so couldn't hear any of the tour guide information. Was raining heavy, hence why we were downstairs. Then when the speaker system didn't work and could not hear due to the rowdy drinking parties around us. So for us, it was a complete waste of money. You know, you never know who's going on these cruises and what type of people that you're going to ride with. And I think you have to be a little bit open-minded. Uh, and that, I mean, they got a negative review because there were people on the boat enjoying the cruise differently. And I think that stinks for the company. And uh, I just think that that is something that you have different crowds. I purchased Romantic Sunset and the whole time it was architectural boat. I asked the stuff to make sure it was Romantic Sunset ride and they told me it is. And when I got on the boat, it wasn't. See the romantic part, we already knew that there's different expectations when it comes to the romantic part. And so I would only just add, what does that romantic part mean? And I think just because it's sunset doesn't always mean it's romantic. So I'd like to see some, uh, some change in the information above, just to what does romantic mean? You get a free drink, you get some strawberries, get some chocolate, you get somebody to take a picture of you. I don't know, but describe what romantic means. Now I'm gonna only read, let's see how much time I got. I got 43 seconds. Crew member Dave was very rude, unpleasant, and very 
Crew member David was very rude, unpleasant, and very us feel uncomfortable. You know, when it comes to this and it comes to specific employees, I understand that people want to write a review, but we don't know if that person has been reprimanded or no longer works for the company because uh, of this situation. So that review gets to stay there, but if it's a, 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 an employee who was rude, we don't even know the circumstances. So I don't, don't think it's fair when you just say people are rude. Lots of kids, not very romantic. Again, the romantic part is a quiet, what's the expectations that people have for romance, romantic? I think that should be described. And the meaning point never showed up on our directions. It, all, it also wasn't specific on which boat we needed to get on. If the company is having a couple different boats, I would like to see a picture of the ticket booth up above so they know where they can go. And that's going to do it for the negative reviews. And uh, that's it. Uh, if you found this video helpful, then please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you're interested in purchasing a ticket, I'll put a link in the video's description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And if you visit Chicago, we hope you have an awesome time.